it has time to talk about the man who made many viewers go to judo. This judoka has fallen in love with hundreds of thousands of fans around the world thanks to his colorful wrestling. This is the one Japanese who has a mixed style of Japanese and European judo. Of course, it is Nohisa Takato, Olympic champion, for time world champion, Olympic bronze medalist and world championship bronze medalist, and of course champion of Japan. A Japanese who has dozens of techniques honed to perfection in his arsenal. A judoka who will enter the judo hall of fame. Today we take a look at his remarkable career, which is still unfinished, from his first gold medal to the present day. The first international gold for the hero of today's video was the Grand Slam gold in Moscow in 2012, the same 2012 Olympic year, which was a maximum failure for the Japanese team at the London Olympics. Back then, in the under 60 kilograms category, a young lead named Nohisa was coming up to replace Hiroki. Nohisa Takato won the Grand Slam, and by the way, he was 18 years old at the time, but he looked a little older than he does now. We re not gonna dwell on that, and we re moving quickly on to the next tournament. And as I say in my videos many times, one of the most important tournaments in the career of every Japanese person is the Tokyo Grand Slam, which used to be proudly called the Jigoro Kano Cup, 2012 Tokyo Grand Slam. Then in the final the Japanese defeated another representative of Japan named Ishikawa. Let us see together what a beautiful throw Kataguruma, Takato defeated his opponent. The result is a happy young Takato and the most important gold medal of his career. Another important Grand Slam tournament is of course the unofficial world championship, the Grand Slam Paris 2013. Very confident judo from the young Japanese, and in the quarterfinals he meets Kim Wonjin from Korea, who by the way at the age of 31 has earned another chance to go to the third Olympics in his career, in Paris in 2024. In the semifinals, Takato fought with the future Olympic champion Mudrinov, whom the Japanese defeated by counter hold. And in the final, it has the Korean again. This time, Takato demonstrates a cool upon thanks to his hand technique. Upon and another international gold medal for the Japanese. The Japanese thought confidently and sent young Nohisa Takato to the World Championships in Rio de Janeiro in 2013. And they were right. The still young Japanese is going to South America, namely to Brazil where he will have to fight with the best judokas of the planet. The Japanese gets into the subgroup C in the quarterfinals of which he meets the future legend of world judo Yeldo Smatov. He defeats the Kazakh with a front Uchimata throw. Semi-final against fellow Kim Wanjin, and we see a crowning touch from Takato. The Japanese advances to the final of the World Championships to face Mongolia's Deshtavajin. Takato beats him by Shido. As a consequence, tears of joy, and he becomes World Judo Champion for the first time in his career. The Japanese are jubilant, because a young and very capable judoka has replaced him. Well, we are confidently heading towards a second consecutive World Championship for Nohisa Takato. In 2014, as you remember the World Championship was held in Chelyabinsk. Here the Japanese demonstrates various throws and pleases the audience with his skills. In the third round, Takato defeated Devjin from Armenia. And in the quarterfinals he defeated the representative of Israel thanks to a wonderful counter hold on the Ippon. The semi-final against Mudrinov was not what the Japanese thought. First, Yuko's score, not Wazaari, then an uncounted throw, and as a result Takato lost by Shido to the owner of the tatami. The Japanese won bronze by defeating Abiki Mishev from Kazakhstan. Not the result he had hoped for, but the fight was great, and it has a positive moment. We ray off to the Grand Slam in Paris 2015. It has a pre-Olympic year and the heat is at its highest. In the first meeting against a Moroccan judoka, Takato wins with a powerful over-the-hip throw, then a trademark heel hook, and passage to the quarterfinals, where the Japanese defeats Shido. In the semifinals, Takato fought against Dashtavajin from Mongolia, an old acquaintance of his. He won it with a beautiful two-legged throw, maximum technique and beauty of our favorite sport. The final against the host of the French Tatami Vincent Limmer. The Japanese defeated him thanks to his signature Kotagurum move. The quarterfinals know Isa Takato loses to the Georgian, and he is looking at a bronze medal at most. Well, we must gather our will in a fist and fight. As a result, in the fight for bronze, Takato defeats the Azerbaijani and becomes the bronze medalist of the Olympic Games in 2016. Not the result that was expected of him but he is the best in the weight at the moment and needs to work on himself. 
Grand Slam Tokyo 2016, that moment when you start to have a young competitor Ruju Nagayama breathing down your back. Naoisa Takato was already a real judo star, but he had one dream, and that was Olympic gold. And to this dream he would go all the way to the Tokyo Olympics in 2021. As you can see, the Japanese is lighting it up in his home Grand Slam and confidently defeating his opponents. In the semifinals, he was stronger than Mshvidabads, whom he defeated with an underhook far from the last time in his career. And here is the final between two Japanese. One is already titled, and the other is a rising star. This time, youth in the form of Ruju Nagayama won, and Takato won the silver medal. Meanwhile, the coach's confidence in Takato is still high, and he is going to the 2017 World Championships in the city of Budapest. Of course, the Japanese is the favorite for the gold medal, that S for sure. Well, here we are at the World Championships in Budapest, the capital of the International Judo Federation, and in the same year Naohisa Takato won the Asian Championships. The Japanese confidently wins his tournament net, defeating Uzbek Judoka in the quarterfinals. In the semifinals, the Japanese defeated the sensation of the day, Pavel Petrikov from Czech Republic. And here it is the final against an old acquaintance Orkan Sefrov from Azerbaijan. A great shot by Aouchigari brings the second world championship for Takato. This is already a serious status for the Japanese judoka. Again the world championship, and again he is on top. The next tournament for the world champion was the home Grand Slam in Tokyo. He didn't he talk about it anywhere, but I am sure inside he wanted to get even with Ruju Nagayama for that very defeat in the 2016 final. And so it happened. Nagayama and Nohisa meet at the semi-final stage, where Takato defeats Ruju thanks to a single Wazari. And in the final of Nohisa, Takato was waiting for good old acquaintance Deshtavajan from Mongolia, whom the Japanese graciously won with a rather strange upon throw. Nevertheless, Takato ends 2017 with a gold medal. Well, what followed was an injury and an absence from the tatami for more than half a year. Takato returned only in the summer of 2018 at the European Open Cup in the category up to 66 kilograms. So to speak, I warmed up before the World Championships. This tournament, of course, the Japanese won quite confidently and pleased the local audience. Here we have arrived to one more World Championship in the remarkable career of the Japanese. World Championship in Baku in 2018. This World Championships was remembered by many, the first gold for Uta Abi and for Daria Bilited. Yes, and Takato himself will clearly remember this event in the most positive way for himself. Then Ruju Nagayama was also sent to the World Championships, a wake-up call for Takato. The Japanese met in the semi-finals, and Nohisa Takato defeated his teammate with a graceful hold. And in the finals, Takato secured a solid title defense with the same heel hook, and once again climbed to the top of the World Championship podium. And Ruju Nagayama came in third that day. 2019, a pre-Olympic year it would seem. World Champion Nohisa Takato goes to the Grand Prix in Montreal, Canada. There he confidently defeats all opponents and takes the gold medal. The warm-up before the World Championships in Tokyo was a success. And here comes the World Championships in Tokyo in the same 2019. It would seem that the favorite Takato will not stop anything, especially at home and with such support. But this is only at first glance. The Japanese falls on the upon in the quarterfinals from Lutfaliv of Uzbekistan and loses all chances for the gold medal. On the other hand, Enogayama loses in the semi-finals to future world champion Luhumi Chwimiani. The Japanese met in the bronze final and Nogayama won. A year before the Olympics, Takato found himself in a precarious position. A fifth-place finish at the world championships is clearly not the result he needs, and that has got the coaching staff thinking. But in the end, 
things turned out as positively as possible for Takata. Naoisa goes to the Olympics as the favorite and wins the gold medal, something he has been working towards his whole career. Second Olympics, and in front of the home crowd, the Japanese takes his gold medal. Now we can sleep easy, he has won all the important gold medals in his career. From now on, you can relax and fight at your own pleasure and play Fortnite. The Japanese is an avid fan of computer games and also shoots videos on his YouTube channel. In 2022, Noisa Takato is going for his fourth World Championship gold. Then, as you may remember, the World Championship was held in Tashkent. By the way, Ruji Nogayama was not taken to the World Championships then. In the Harda semi-final, Noisa defeats Yang from Taiwan in the last seconds of the match and goes to the final against Aktaven from Mongolia. Years go by, and the Mongolian still gets the Japanese in the World Finals. Here Noisa demonstrates two gorgeous heel hooks to the left side and takes the fourth gold medal of his career at the World Championships on a high class. Well, bravo! But at the World Championships in Doha six months later, Takato was not as successful. In the semifinals, he lost to the future world champion from Spain, and in the fight for bronze, he lost to a Korean. As they say, the opponents are the best to tell you when it is time to retire. And here comes the Grand Slam Tokyo 2023, the last tournament for the hero of today's video. Takato is also in the status of the favorite. The Japanese confidently reaches the final, where he is waiting for Ruju Nogayama, who seems to be always behind. This bout decided who goes to the Olympic Games in Paris. And Nogayama finally beats Takato and finally deserves his chance to compete at the Olympics. As Takato later said in an interview, my era is over. I want Nogayama to win the Olympics. Strong words from a worthy champion and human being. On a side note to many judoka who like to trash talk. Now Takato actively continues to train, and the Japanese even stated his desire to compete in the category up to 66 kilograms. And why not? He is already 30 years old. He has won everything. He is a successful and established athlete. There are only a few years left of his professional career. And why not try himself in a new weight after decades of dominance in the category up to 60 kilograms? Well, you write in the comments how you like the career on Noisa Takato and whether he can achieve success in the category up to 66 kilograms. 